Obama recently addressed the whole UFO question in a serious way recently. Here's what he said. Uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. So, Jeremy, help give a little context to this. Why is it actually a pretty big deal that the government and the Department of Defense seemingly can't explain what these objects are, but are finally willing to talk about them? Yeah, it, it's a sea change. It's a really interesting moment in American history where our government and intelligence agencies are addressing what's right in front of us, which is the, the presence of UFOs on planet Earth. Every president has been talking about this. Jimmy Kimmel is great, by the way. He does ask the hard questions. And even President George W. Bush was shown the, the first piece of uh, imagery that I put out about a month ago, the, the pyramid-shaped UFOs. So now there's this openness to discussing. We, we might not know what they are, but we know what they're not. And when you're looking at this FLIR, <laughs> forward-looking infrared footage, you see it's a spherical object. There's no plumes, no exhaust, no traditional propulsion that you could see in the thermal realm. So let's talk about just sort of the realm of possibilities, because I, I think it's important that, it's, you know, we, we were joking about about aliens and that that certainly is the possibility that there is a connection to extraterrestrial life. But there are also, you know, possibilities like this being technology that is being worked on covertly. Well, let's talk about that. So just to give your audience a basic understanding, the U.S. Navy photographed and filmed pyramid shaped UFOs and spherical advanced transmedium vehicles swarming our Navy warships. So this is an issue with the idea that uh, you can have midair collisions, just basic safety. So. I obtained and released that footage with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp, and all of this was unclassified, but it was directly confirmed by the Pentagon, which is really cool. So they're starting to talk about this. These are true unknowns. We don't know if this is from an adversarial foreign nation. We were pretty sure that it's not uh, black budget programs within the United States because nobody that runs those knows what this is. This appears to be, and it, it possibly is, and a beyond next generation technology. So our Defense Department wants to know who has this technology, which represents this massive quantum leap and understanding of propulsion. Who has it? What is their intent? Who's operating these vehicles? And so that's where we're at. And now finally, there's an openness that's been uh, lacking for the last 75 years. So why do you think the government is just now coming around to declassifying documents, revealing more to the public about what they've been observing all this time? Yeah, look, uh, they're being forced to. Our intelligence agencies and our politicians and congressmen and you know senators, they are beholden to the American public and the American will. They represent us. So this is actually something that is overdue, where the Senate Intelligence Committee is putting together this mandate to put a report about the UAP or UFO topic. So I think what we're seeing is finally representative, uh, representative government taking this issue seriously because of basic safety concerns and, and the threat that this could be a foreign adversarial nation. However, the technologies do appear to be far more advanced than anything ever displayed in the theater of war by any nation on planet Earth. So that's got to tell you something that this is exotic. I will tell you, I've watched that footage so many times. It is just hypnotic. Jeremy, thank you so much.